Today's tech talk is on the Moodle gradebook waiting. Sorry you had to wait for this one. I was out sick last week. Today we're going to talk about waiting and, and the basics of getting started and getting your Moodle gradebook waiting the grades appropriately for you. I'm going to go ahead and get to my screen sharing mode here. We're in the webinar workbench Moodle course, of course, and I'm in the grade book view. Um, let me just get to where the default will go when you first click into the gradebook off the Moodle course start page. And I'll click into the setup area. You can do this from either setup or in the categories and items view. <clears throat> Before I forget, um, in my follow-up message, I'm going to send an email out to the LMS group if you could make this uh, webinar or not. A couple of videos that I found helpful in getting the concepts around waiting in your in your gradebook. So I'll send a couple of links out to you also in, in a follow-up. So basically, if you saw our previous session on Moodle gradebook categories, we've got the, an assignments category full of 10 assignments. Each of these assignments has got 10 points in value each. We've got a forms category, and we've got a quiz category. So you'll see that the max grade, back up to the assignments category, the max grade potential for each assignment is 10 points. The max grade for each forum, I should say advanced form that these are, is seven points. And the max grade for each quiz is five points. Now, by virtue of having the overall gradebook aggregation method set up for natural weighting, Moodle itself is automatically calculating the grade percentages for the assignments and the forums and the quiz categories as 45.455%, et cetera, and et cetera. Now, let's say a quick way to, let's say, imagine you wanted the, the, the quiz category the category as a whole to equal just a straight across the board 25% of your course total. An easy way to do that would click this checkbox. So any of these checkboxes beside a category and the weights column, I should indicate. If there's a checkbox beside the category itself or an individual gradable item in there, if you put a check in the checkbox, you can edit that. In this case, I mentioned 25%. And if I click on Save Changes, notice how these other category weights will change automatically in just one second. And here, these other categories have adjusted a little bit to make room for that new quizzes category of 25% of the grade. I can go back to the default setting that the natural aggregation method gives me by unchecking that box and clicking save again. Okay, so now we're back to the default. And I should have mentioned earlier a little, little bit more context about how Moodle is calculating these weights for you. It's basically calculating the number of, of course, the number of points and the number of gradable items within a category. It all adds up to do the math for you. And if you were not a math major like me, this is a helpful aggregation method. Okay, let's say that I want to, okay, we've already covered how to, how to make a category itself be a, um, ha have a, a potential, a fixed number that you want in mind versus the, what the default uh, setting is. Let's say that you've decided your week 10 quiz is gonna be your final quiz, and maybe within the category of quizzes, you want the week 10 quiz to be worth more than just the default 10 points like all the other quizzes are. Let's say we want to make that 25% of the total for just within the, the quizzes category. So I put a check in the box. I indicate that 25 to represent 25%. And when I click Save Changes, all of these 10s will be adjusted automatically for me. And there they are. So within the quiz category inside this course shell gradebook area, the week 10 quiz, which I could maybe I want to also rename that to be like 
final quiz to some context. Now, that is now worth 25% of all the potential point values for all the quizzes in the quiz category, independent of these advanced forms and independent of these assignments, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty handy, pretty sweet. Now you'll see it as you as you go through the term, you might notice a column in your gradebook that has got like a like a tan color in, in a given column. That's a that's a visual indicator to you that somehow either intentionally or not you may have indicated a, an override for a a weighting method. So and if you don't want that, you can go into either where we are right now, setup, or this drop down up here, categories and items view and look for that, the corresponding item that is, has got that tan color in the column and uncheck that, click save changes and that will remove that override for that waiting. And there we are back to the default. So we covered what waiting basically is in your course. If you leave everything unweighted manually and let it wait Man, uh, automatically, your natural aggregation method will calculate for you, again, based on how many gradable items and how many points within each item of potential grade point value they have, and it calculates by category what the weight for each category is. And you can easily make an override of a category weight or a weight for an individual gradable item with these checkboxes. Make sure you always click Save Changes at the bottom. And that covers the basics of the Moodle Gradebook Waiting Tech Talk. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.